Hello guys. So in this video, I want to talk about the uh, you know, what kind of information you can find from Wi-Fi beacon packets. Uh, beacon packets are the packets that every access point is sending out periodically, so that uh, Wi-Fi clients like the laptops and the cell phones can find out you know the access point. So for example, if you you know if you go to the new place like uh, the you know the hotel or the airport you will see that you know your your laptop or access point is picking up the new access point that's because you know they picked up the uh, beacon packets from the the new access point in that area uh, so this is a program called NestPod. Uh basically this is a tool to scan the Wi-Fi environment and uh, as you can tell uh, it displays a lot of information about you know, each access point. You know, for example, it shows the uh, not just the SSID but you know BSSID, which is a unique MAC address of um, you know each access point, and the signal strength and uh, the band whether it is operating in 2.4G or the 5G, and channel channel width, of, and uh, security information that you know this access point is using, and Wi-Fi technology as well. So. You know, uh, this is a, you know, this particular access point is mine, and uh, it is supporting 802.11ac. So, and uh, you can you can tell that you know some other access points are supporting 802.11ax, which is Wi-Fi 6 as well. So, uh, you know, since this is a not open source program, I cannot tell exactly how this program is picking up all this information, but I'm pretty sure, you know. Uh, most of this information is uh, picked up from the uh, the beacon package from this particular access point, if not all information. So, in this video, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna capture the beacon packet from this access point, inspect that beacon packet, and then find out all this information plus more. So, let's get started. So, uh, this access point. Uh, is uh, on channel channel 36 so I already set uh, this capturing program at channel 36 and uh, I'm gonna start so I'm gonna capture the packet like for just the 10 seconds because that's enough you know time to capture the beacon packet from uh, this access point so I already I saw that you know it captured the uh, beacon packet from uh, this access point so I'm gonna just stop uh, so as you can see, this is a uh, you know beacon packet in here. So if I double click, uh, so so this is a beacon packet, right? So the first field that we are gonna see is uh, this uh, frame field. Uh, is uh, actually this is not part of uh, 802.11 packet, but this is uh, something that was added by. Uh, Wireshark when you know this packet was captured so I mean it might be useful for some people but you know this is not our interest right now so I'm gonna just uh, uh, close and the next two field the radio tap header and then the radio information field so this is not really part of 802.11 packet either but you know this is added by the Wi-Fi adapter or the wire you know the Wi-Fi driver and it captured this uh, particular packet so uh, but you know this this uh, field contains some useful information for example uh, you can see the, uh, the signal strength in here uh, you can see the operation you know the channel frequency you know the channel number and then channel frequency in here and the physical layer technology which is OFDM because this is 802.11ac uh, and also you can find out the uh, this uh, data rate that this management frame and you know, this beacon frame was transmitted you know, please note that this is not the t you know, transmission rate for 802.11ac you know 802.11ac can support a much higher transmission rate I mean this is the uh, data rate that you know this beacon fr frame was uh, transmitted so that everybody can understand uh, the next actually from this field 802.11 uh, packet starts and the first you can find out the 
destination address which is broadcast and the source address which is a MAC address of this access point you can tell BSSID is the same as a source MAC address uh, which is the same as uh, the BSSID in this uh, last part tool uh, next, uh, this is a management frame because uh, beacon packet is uh, one of the uh, management frames and next uh, it shows uh, fixed parameters because the length is fixed and uh, you know this field shows the beacon interval so uh, every at this interval it is sending out the beacon packet so which is uh, roughly about like uh, uh, 200 uh, 100 102.4 milliseconds and it shows the uh, capability of this access point as well so this is a uh, access point and we can support the WEP uh, I don't believe anybody is using WEP security anymore because of the uh, security cons uh, security flow and uh, next uh, you will see the, uh, the a lot of tagged parameters in here so these tagged parameters are also called information element because each you know each tag contains uh, information so that is why it is called information element so the first information element is a uh, ssid parameter set information element and this information element contains ssid of this access point so you can see you know, SSID is a set of Picasso and uh, next information element is a supported rate so these are the rates that you know, this access point uh, is supporting and uh, you will see the P right next to some you know, the rate for example 6, 12 and 24 so P stands for you know, the basic rates otherwise it is I, I mean uh, in other words, that's uh, mandatory. You know, it is mandatory for the Wi-Fi client to support, uh, you know, basic rate to associate with uh, this access point. If you remember earlier, you know, this management frame was transmitted at transmission rate at uh, six megabit per sec. Yeah. So this access point is gonna transmit. Uh, transmit multicast packets and the broadcast packets including the management frame using one of these uh, basic rates so that is why it is mandatory to support uh, it, it is mandatory for the Wi-Fi client to support these uh, uh, basic rates otherwise it won't be able to understand uh, you know some management frames right so again this is not uh, you know, Wi-Fi transmission rate. For example, my MacBook is capable of 802.11 AC, and uh, uh, here, as you can see, it can right now this TX rate is uh, 162 62 megabit per sec. So this is not, you know, again, don't you know, don't confuse this with uh, actual Wi-Fi transmission rate. These are the rates that Wi-Fi client should support to understand the multicast and the broadcast package from access point and the next traffic indication uh, map so this field this information element is used by the uh, uh, Wi-Fi access point to indicate that you know there is a uh, traffic waiting for certain Wi-Fi clients so for example if a Wi-Fi client is in the sleeping mode it is monitoring uh, this information element to find out if there is a traffic waiting for it in access point or not so if there is a traffic waiting for it then it should wake up right and the next information element is a country information uh, information element so this information element contains uh, the country of operation and the maximum transmission power allowed within each channel so you know, every country has a regulation body to regulate uh, Wi-Fi channels and uh, maximum transmission power at each channel. So this information element shows that information. And uh, next two information elements are related to DFS channel operation, uh, dynamic frequency selection operation. So 
uh, certain channels in the you know 5G and the 5 gigahertz are used by the uh, radar you know radar system. For example, the uh, the weather you know weather detection radar system. So if uh, the radar is detected uh, in that channel, Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi access point is uh, supposed to move to the different channel where there is no radar in you know, a signal. So these two parameters are related to DFS channel operation. And the next RSM information information element. From this information element, we can tell you know, we can find out the uh, security information. So if you see the RSM information uh, information element, you can tell this is a WPA2. Uh, it is using access point is using WPA2, and uh, from here we can tell it is using WPA2 PSK uh, pre-shared key instead of a WPA2 uh, enterprise which is using a radio server to authenticate Wi-Fi the client so uh, PSK is a, a value 2 and if it is a WPA enterprise uh, the value is a 1 and uh, from here we can tell it you know wpa2 psk is uh, only security uh, mode that it is supporting you know it is not supporting wpa security mode because if it is supporting wpa then you should we should see wpa information element in here but we don't so uh, we can tell wpa2 psk is a you know only security mode that this access point is supporting and the next RM enabled capabilities. So basically, this is related to 802.11, uh, 802.11k, which uh, which allows the access point and the Wi-Fi clients to collect uh, surrounding radio uh, environment information. So this might be useful for, for example, when you know client is roaming from one access point to another access point, right? and uh, next ht capabilities and the ht information so if your access point is supporting 802.11n then you will see ht information element ht is another name for 802.11n and it stands for high throughput uh, likewise if uh, your access point is uh, supporting 802.11ac then you will see this uh, VHT information element. You know, VH is, you know, VHT stands for very high throughput, which is another name for 802.11 uh, AC. As you can see, I mean, my access point is uh, supporting 802.11 AC, right? So if my access point is uh, uh, supporting Wi Fi 6, 802.11 AX, then we will see HE information element in here he stands for high efficiency but we don't see he information element in this beacon packet uh, that's how we know that you know my access point is not supporting uh, 802.11 ax wi-fi 6 so here you can find you know 802.11 n capabilities in here uh, for example mcs set information in here uh, maximum MTU, uh, MTU uh, information in here, and the current operation information in here. For example, uh, for example, it is operating in channel thirty six right now, and in the uh, okay. So this is uh, related to eight hundred two dot eleven and Wi Fi four, and the next information element is uh, this one. So this is uh, related to uh 802.11 and 40 megahertz uh channel operation so in 802.11 n so when access point is uh, operating at 40 megahertz and uh, if it detects another access point you know another overlapping access point then it is uh, supposed to fall back to 20 megahertz and uh, this information element is uh, related to that operation uh next information element shows some extended capabilities of uh, this access point and again this VHT uh, information elements are related to Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi 5 802.11 AC 
uh, information. You know, currently it shows that it is operating at what? Let's see operation information. So right now it is operating at 80 megahertz channel width, right? And uh, it shows that the VHT, you know, uh, VHT support the MCS set uh, information in here. And next, uh, from this uh, WPS, WPS information element, you can tell this access point is supporting WPS, uh, which is a Wi-Fi protected setup, uh, which is the way to set up secure communication channel uh, between the uh, access point and the Wi-Fi client using the pin or the push button method. Uh, next. Uh, this is, uh, I think, this is um, you know vendor specific information element, we which we don't care, and uh, lastly, uh, from this information element, we can tell uh, this access point is uh, supporting WMM uh, Wi-Fi QS. Uh, so, as you can see, the beacon packet contains a lot of information. Actually, you know, it, it contains uh, a lot more information than. Uh, this just uh, this tool shows so I hope I mean this video was useful for some some people and uh, until next time uh, bye